Okay. We're going to risk it. We're going to risk not being loud enough. We're going to risk the game being way louder than we expect. We're going to risk being up late at night with zero viewers. This is all appropriate ways for me to spend my, my okay. Friday evening. We're going to risk it. Let's hear We're this. going to risk not being loud enough. We're going to you know risk what? that does sound loud enough to me. I think I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. I think that's okay. Um, I forgot how to get the YouTube chat feature. I'll just. Oh no no that is important. How do I do that? Pop out chat. Stick it there. How do I get? Oh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work this way. I'll just stick it there. And that'll work. Oh. It has been a bit of a day. What's good, Squishy? How's life treating you? Oh my god, that's so desaturated. What is good, Howden? What the heck, Aroni is Sable? Sable. 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 Sable's a walking simulator. Sable's a game that I've never played before, but it's been on my list of games to play. I currently own Game Pass, and this is coming off Game Pass in just two days. So, I don't have a long to play this game. I have until Sunday, so I wanted to at least just give it a little try. If the game is too loud, let me know. If I'm too quiet, let me know. Um... Sorry, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking away a lot because here is my OBS screen, here is my game screen, and here is the camera. So uh, you're gonna see. You're gonna see all angles of my head. But yeah, I think um, recently there's been a, an upsurge in quality walking simulators. Death, Str <laughs> Death Stranding being the biggest one. But I've also played a short hike, which was bloody lovely. A short hike was really nice. Um, but the art aesthetic of this game is extremely, extremely unique, and I've been told very good things about its diegetic lore, and just fucking, just fucking overall vibe. This is a vibe-based game, and we're a vibe-based individual. So I wanted to try Sable. What's good, Killian? Uh, but yeah, do do tell me if uh, game audio is a bit loud. I'll change it as soon as it lets me. But right now we're in a unpausable cutscene, so uh, yeah, we're we're gonna struggle with that a bit. I could actually, I could change it in OBS maybe. Oh, I'm playing. I'm not playing. I might be able to change this in OBS real quick. Right, I've put my desktop audio down a little bit. Tell me if that's any any nicer on the ears. Um, I'm also just gonna tick 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 tick. No 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 no. Okay, hopefully that should be a little bit easier on the ears. Do let me know if uh, if that's not the case. Um, let's give this a go. Let's. Uh, hey Rob, I've played Sable on Game Pass some. I liked it, but I couldn't get myself to keep playing. Frankly, I find that I, f I find that I have that trouble with lots of very good quality experiences. The last game that I managed to really, really commit myself to playing to completion was Tunic, which I finished just either yesterday or the day before. Um, and frankly, it's because the game is like the perfect length. It's about a twenty-hour game. Um, it's just hard enough for, for you to feel like not everything's a cakewalk. Um, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty fulfilling. So far I like the art aesthetic. Um, I like the, the intentional frame rate of the characters running animation. Um, game's kinda, game's kinda, game's kinda pretty. Uh, hey Raven. Oh my gosh. I do feel like, already I feel like, there's going to be weird sections where my eyes are really, really straining. This game does a lot of incredibly thin, subtle line work. Everything is outlined, but everything is barely outlined. 
and I, uh, I imagine that's gonna, that's gonna fuck up my eyes. Oh, I can climb! Okay, we can climb. That's a... This do have a... It, it stole that mechanic from Breath of the Wild, the, the true original climbing game. I love saying ignorant things and just, uh... Giving them absolutely no, uh... No, uh... Backlash whatsoever. Just letting them float there and let everybody share in the, the misinformation being spread on the internet. My mum and brother found out that I'm pansexual. Talk about unwilling coming out. It's been anxious all day. Um, I feel like I recently outed myself as pansexual. Um, I do actually want to have a longer conversation about this. Um, because I'm not quite sure <laughs> how sexualities work. Um, I mean, Raven, are your parents uh, and, and family particularly progressive? Are, are they comfortable with alternative sexual identities and sexualities? Or... Do, do you feel like you're going to come up against some struggle? Pretty. I feel very inclined to, like, um... Look in every tiny little corner in the hopes that I can find something special. But I have a feeling that because it's the very start of the game, I should probably just be, um... Walking in that direction. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Is there fall damage? No. I don't think this game has damage in general. I don't think there's a there's any combat to be expected. This is this is just a big chill walking simulator. Um so squishy. I've used the term pansexual to describe my sexuality recently because my partner is trans. Um trans men, but they present pretty effeminately. And if I'm being very honest with myself, I don't feel homosexual, well, or bi, necessarily. Um, I feel like the way I appreciate them is quite similar in the capacity that a straight person might appreciate their, their hetero partner. Um, I can feel Yadi smiling behind her mask, just as I know. She can feel the teeth bearing a little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's soft, and, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. Yadi, I know you've, I know you have nothing to worry about. Don't, you know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? And yet, I shrug. But any attempts to act, act casual are fruitless. The movement is jerky, and the movement is jerky, and I can't read. I can't read. Um. I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember, the first remember the first time you rode a bike. You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I I loved riding a bike uh, as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forwards, and you put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the, tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Yadi reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I think I'm ready. Okay, so I need to speak to Hilal and Dries. Dries is already. Dries should already have made arrangements for your bike, and Halal will share something. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um. <laughs> the most difficult part of this game is the words. Um. Yeah. No. My my goblin brain is wanting me to spam the X button. Um. And here I go. Yes. Um. Sorry, we were having a discussion about sexuality. So my partner is trans. Um, they are transmasculine, so they use masculine pronouns. But they present quite effeminately. And if I'm being honest with myself, I feel like I'm just in a heterosexual relationship. Um, but the thing is, if I had, like, transphobic parents, bringing them into my house would still be an experience where I have to experience some... Homophobia. I would be participating in... Well, not homophobia, it would be transphobia. And I'd be participating in 
a very much transgendered relationship at that point. Um, and for the simple fact that I feel like I'm definitely capable of being attracted to people who want just cisgendered women, pansexual makes sense to me. But I feel also like I operate in a very straight way. I feel like I don't experience any of the, of the kind of disparaging behaviour that a lot of people in the LGBT experience. So, like, I certainly feel like most of the time I have all the privilege of a straight man. It's complicated. And when trying to have a detailed discussion about it, sometimes that sounds like um, pansexuality. And other times it just sounds like I'm straight. Ultimately, I think what the world needs to do and ideally will move towards is the idea of no genders and no sexuality. And when you fall out of your mother's hole, what you are is just a person capable of liking things. And what you like will just be an expression rather than a label. You won't be gay or straight. You'll be a guy liking things. Whoa. Mind-blowing concept. Um, yeah. Long story short. Um... Pansexual sounds like the most appropriate way to describe the fact that I'm currently in love with a transgender individual. Um, I hope that makes sense, but maybe I'm misunderstanding how pansexuality works. Pansexuality, as far as I know, is love without the restriction of gender or, or sexuality. You just, dis <laughs> it's a vibes-based system of do you, do you think you're attracted to someone? Um, which I feel like could apply to most people. Um, so I don't know. Also, the pan flag looks sick. I love pastel colours. Sorry if that was a bit rambly, but I'm hoping... Sorry. I was so busy rambling that the sky has fucking set. Set? We're not set... We're not on Earth, so as far as I'm aware, the, the sun cycle system on this planet operates differently, and we get lots of different shades of, of, of nice soft, uh, soft flat colours. Um as the sky makes its rotation, which I think is really, really pretty. Um, who have we got? I'm, I'm pressing X. I'm so pre- okay. I'm playing with a PlayStation 5 controller, but it's got Xbox buttons on screen, so when I press- when it says press X, what I need to press is square. As I approach Hilal, they gave me an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Halal hands me a small round stone. It nestles into my palm. I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it's softly electric, like static on cloth. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I try to sound less confused than I am, but Hilal, but I ask Hilal what this is. No, oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a guiding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel fuzziness. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Guiding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now, it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask, how can I do this? Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hilal claps the hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at times like this. Come back once it's done. Okay, so what I'm hearing is I've got to take a stone over there. Wherever there is. Oh, hang on. I have a compass. The compass points that way. Is but that's not north, so that must be a, a waystone, because north is back that way. Okay, we're learning bits. Oh, and I can pick up a square currency, presumably. Um, I'm trying to search for labels that fit me uh, a lot more knowing. Try, trying to search for labels that fit me made me a lot more unhappy, so I stopped searching. This game seems very Ragnarob in the way... Uh, that the vocabulary is wider than the Great Marina Trench. I I have a long way to go before... To, to be fair, I think I'm comfortable with my, my vocabulary, but a lot of the YouTubers I've been watching, uh, people like Super Eye Patch Wolf and Jacob Geller, ContraPoints, um, Philosophy Tube, uh, they... M the ocean of difference between me and them is mostly in research, less so than uh, like vocabulary or, or production value. Um, 
So what I really, really need... I, I, I know nobody fucking asked, but what I feel like I need to do to reach some level of satisfaction with uh, the stuff I'm producing is like a, an ocean more research, because I feel like a lot of what I wrote is purely anecdotal, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with anecdotal content, but I guess if I'm going to try and spread ideas about, about wider pictures, I'd love to have... I'd love to have sources. I'd love to be able to, to tell people, I've looked at the world and this is what the world has told me, more so than just this is how I felt going through the world myself. Ooh. As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That Ilaria over there... I follow her gaze up um, to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Ilaria. And there she is. Do you want me to get her back? Zaki shakes her head. No, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. That's cute. Let's speak to Ilaria. If I have enough stamina to get up here without falling off. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, she's over there. Um, I think I'm going to fall the fuck off this rock. Oh, barely. Okay, I do have a run button, so I think I might be able to uh, make this a bit. Okay, no, I think I think we're gonna make it. Square. Oh, oh that, that's it. She loves climbing. Now we can take a take a tumble. Okay. Certainly no full damage. Maybe it's explained because this planet has, uh, has weaker gravity than Earth. Which does appear to visually be true. You do have way more Earth time than you can expect in Earth gravity. But it kind of just feels like video game gravity rather than inherently like Martian gravity. Um, it looks like there's something hidden behind these rocks, um, and I'd love to get there, but I th I, I'm going to presume that I just don't have the tools for it right now. Talk to us. Lamar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not... Okay, that's cute. Oh, baby! Baby! We love colour block animals. We love one flat shade of brown animals. <laughs> Can I... L let me on. Okay. Um, okay, no. It doesn't want me on. That's fine. Um, so, we've spoken to Dilal, I think. Um, and there was one other person we need to speak to regarding our speedster. I think we need a vehicle. There we go. Quest guy. Uh, Driss, that was his name. Driss is the camp manager. He's difficult to get a hold of lately, but I suspect he's working in the lab. And my goblin brain says, press X. Um, your bike! Yes, of course, right, yes, your bike. That is what that, that I was meant to, that I prepared for you, because today is your... Gleading? Gliding, yes. Gleading. Can't read. Can't read. Sable is just Spider-Man and I'm here for it. Mm. By the way, I mean I arranged it for you, well, sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial? Yes, yeah, a learning experience. You see Sable before one can... You see Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. Okay. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. I'll give it a go. Okay. Um, I can strafe with... Okay. So that's the strafe button. Oh, come back. Steer, strafe. Okay. Okay. Seems easy enough. And I quite like the sort of smoke effect. It's quite pretty. Okay. I really wish I could immediately find a ramp to jump off. Oh my god! The anti-grav effect is, is really, really nice. 
I like the feeling of a lack of traction, and like the idea that it's it's probably undisturbed by any kind of terrain. Oh, that being said, money, money, there we go. Okay, camera, there we go. So chat, whoever's still around, because I can't see numbers right now. Tell us what your plans for the weekends are, tell us what you guys are going to be up to. I'm a lonely gamer, I'm sitting here on a, on a Friday night, soon to be Saturday morning, playing a fucking video game. Tell me about your lives. Oh my god, come on. Oh, that's where I'm going. Might go to a dessert shop tomorrow, but I don't know yet. Okay, what is that resting on? Is that a, a parental decision? Oh my god. Okay, we have more quests to do. But where's my bike? I want, I want my, is that a little, is that a little? Oh, it's like a little teapot. I thought it was a child. <laughs> I was very confused. I'll have to go to work on Saturday and go smash local. Oh, Gronix, what's, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what city is this local in? I did go to a, a Smash local myself recently uh, in Nottingham, you know, where I fucking live. Um, just because they had a Rivals of Ether side event on. Uh, and I fucking won! I beat the three other participants who chose to give Rivals a try that day. Off to check the university! Ooh. Harden, what are you going to be studying at uni? Horden? Howden? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Let's check our quest log. There we go. Oh, SoCal. Okay. I was really hoping it would just let me scale that. I think you can get, when you get your own speedster in this game, you can get upgrades to it, so maybe I'll get something that lets me scale more terrain. Rob, I found a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon personality quiz. Would you like me to send you the link? Yeah, feel free. I can't promise I'll do the quiz because I'm very slow to, to get any shit done, as you can see by the state of my channel, but fuck it. I'll try and figure out if I'm a Riolu or a Chikorita. Have you done the quiz yet? Do you know what you turn up as? Okay. Um, there's meant to be an altar nearby, and I'm painfully sure that I'm up shit's creek. Oh. Um, oh, it might be that. Oh, yeah, that looks like an altar. That makes sense. Oh, fuck, I can climb. I'm a fucking climber. Yes, I'm a brave type, either a Charmander or a Pikachu. Oh, cute. Oh, does it just follow the same personality quiz as in the games themselves? Or is it like a, is it extended to account for all starters that exist right now? 
How do we feel about the new big ass squish, like actual squishmallow frog Pokemon that came out? That got revealed today. Oh my god. Do you know about streamer mode on Discord? I don't know about streamer mode on Discord. Um, is it something that I should be using? Ooh. Uh. Stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. I'm exhilarated. I'm ready for Rahana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in the sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Ooh. MacGuffin. Oh, do I need to turn off Discord notifications? Let me just put myself on Do Not Disturb. I didn't even hear them coming through. I've been a bit fucking... I've been no-braining it. I tell you what, I tell you what, I've been no-braining it. Absolute smooth brain today. This reads kind of like a VN tibia. Oh, a visual novel. Yeah, yeah, I see that, I see that. It is intended to be a very, very meditative experience by the looks of things. Did I fuck up my face? Oh, I might have fucked up my face a little bit. Okay. Shiny stone. That's cool. Maybe there'll be a few more of the altars in the world, or maybe that's the only one. Any currency? Anything special? Let's give it a quick nosy. Nah. Okay. Uh, um, how am I meant to get out? Oh! Oh, that is a thing that I remember from the trailers now. Okay. Oh, come on. Shiny. Shiny. Pretty pretty art game. Pretty art game. Alright. Okay, so they've got an in-universe way of, like, dodging fall damage. You've got a little... you've got a bubble. Cute. I recently watched a 10-hour video on Death Note. Have you ever dabbed, uh, dabbled in the watching of the... Yeah, I've watched all of Death Note. I feel like Death Note's a very, um, rite of passage anime. Like, Death Note's quite popular even amongst non-anime watchers. It's sort of just a staple of pop culture. Also, it's worth considering that I'm like 11 or 12, not 11 or 12, 
Um, probably seven or eight years older than you, and Death Note's a bit of an old boy. Um, so, I'm, I'm, yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of the, the older stuff. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my. Wrong button. Oh, it wouldn't let me climb that. Will it? Oh, it's at a, it's like at a, like a convex or con I don't know the difference between convex or concave, but I know it's one of those two, and I know that's going to prevent me from climbing it. Frankly, it's preventing me from doing anything now. There we go. Right. Yeah, can't climb it. It's the wrong shape. Let's go around it. I climb there. Oh, there isn't any kind of foothold. Okay. I think I'm trying to climb something that has no need to be climbed. That's not true. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. It's almost like they put all this ivy there to show me that that's where I was meant to climb. It's crazy. <laughs> Given you dominated Smash Locals, did you do it with Mewtwo or perhaps someone else. I did not damp dominate Smash Locals. I went to a Smash Local event and they had a side event where they were playing Rivals of Ether. I dominated Rivals of Ether. I didn't even enter the Smash event. I don't like Smash. <laughs> That's a lie. I don't mind Smash. Now that I have Rivals of Ether, an objectively better game, um, I, like it's, it's what I want to spend my time playing. In truth though, I feel like I need to, in general, get more invested in the wider FGC. Tekken 8's gonna come out, and I'm definitely gonna be playing that. There's some exciting, f uh, exciting for Street Fighter 6, which I could care less about, but I feel like all it will take is two or three friends of mine to be playing it for me to hop on Street Fighter. And I have a lot of friends currently playing Guilty Gear Strive, um, and I think I might one day cosplay Gold Lewis Dixon from Guilty Gear Strive. Um, I think it's worth getting into. Gold Lewis Dixon or Nagato Yuki. If anybody here knows Guilty Gear characters, I'm basically talking about the most stylish, fat American man. Um, like, absolute ye yeehaw cowboy boy. Um, or a dench, like, seven foot two muscular black vampire with a samurai sword. It's kind of a. Guilty Gear just pops off. Guilty Gear pops the fuck off and. Whoa. Was I just there? I was just there. That's where I jumped off from. That's a challenge. It's a challenge that I probably can't do now, but fuck it, who's gonna stop me from trying? I mean, just look how tantalizing it looks. Ugh. I feel like there must be... Was that battery the only thing that I needed? Yeah, I think that battery was the was the main collectible from from this section. I think I can leave now. Okay, where would I find my strider? Oh, it'll be the blue symbol. I'm about to sneeze, and for some reason that makes me embarrassed. And I'm scared that it, something's about to come out of my nose. And I'm on camera. Nope. I've sucked it back in. I just... I, I reabsorbed it. I fucking ate it like a, a... A twin fetus. Yep, that's a very weird thing to say, but it is something that gets reabsorbed. I was a twin. Maybe my twin might have tried to reabsorb me. Josie. 
What the hell are you doing here? What are you... What are you doing here being gay? <laughs> Your message did not come up. It got blocked because you called me an idiot. <laughs> Do you ever just eat a sneeze? Oh, now that Josie's here, I actually do want to discuss my next video idea. Um, I don't know how many people are watching right now, so maybe five of you will get a will get a fucking um, a spoiler as to a future video idea. One of my friends has challenged me to make a funny video, um, and what they mean by this is they don't think my videos really are funny anymore. That's not to say they, they are humorless, I sometimes inject a, a couple of jokes in here and now, but all of my videos focus on being far more serious, which they're okay with. They think that my most recent videos are gr like are great, but crucially, they like shy- Oh, fuck hiccups. They shy away from any attempt at actual being funny in general. And what they've told me is that they think being funny is a very real part of my- in real life personality that I kind of have stripped out of my video since I- Oh my god, a wiggler! Baby! A chum egg! <laughs> Woo! That's exciting. That- That's exciting. That's exciting. Um, yeah, um, my, my friend explained to me that while they do like my new videos, they are entirely devoid of trying to be funny for funny sake. Uh, because I'm focusing a lot more on like, fucking crying. And <laughs> just, I don't know. I want, I, I do want my videos to be a very real intersection of, um, of an honest look at often just mental health uh, against the backdrop of video games and media. Um, and so they, they challenge me to just make a funny video for funny video's sake because they think I'm capable and it's not something that I've done in a while. And today, Josie, who's just turned up in chat and may or may not be someone who I'm dating, um, used the phrase toilet pilled to describe my opinions on where the toilet paper should, should rest. Um, What's good, Chaz thy great? Why do you have moderator privileges? <laughs> ooh, uh, ooh. Uh. Nothing to be found in the ship. Just uh, push the button. Stop messing with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramin. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work we've gotten to get this far. Alrighty, let's see if that old machinist, machinist, I always wanted to say the word machinist, that sounds cooler to me. Um, told us, hold up, sorry, distracted. Um, I hear the sounds of mechanical adjustments being made, three clicks, buttons being pressed perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Ramin. Um, I'm gonna spam the X button because I have lost the ability to care. Oh, I'll leave it alone, okay. What if there was a crucial clue in there on how to operate whatever I'm doing here? I guess I don't care enough. I guess I can just leave. Or, cutscene. Cutscene. Simon, are you looking for a calibrator? I'll give you the calibrator. Okay. I gotta find Beals. Have we got our own stridey? In fact, let me check, um, let me check, uh, let me check, uh, let me check, uh... Okay. Let's get the, the, the basic stuff out of the way so I can get my own strider. And I'm going to call it a strider, even though they just call it a bike. I think they just call it a bike. I'm going to call it a strider. Squishy, I don't know how long this game is. Um, it's a walking simulator. It's an indie game. I can't imagine there's anything more than... Like, a, an absolute maximum 15 hours of gameplay in this. 
but the game is about looking and and vibing. Here we are. Um, cutscene, cutscene, no, cutscene. It's telling me to be here. Or is this my? Is this the seat of my Strider? This boy. Are you? Oh, it's gonna be fucking on top of me, isn't it? Oh, it is. I'm a. I'm a bit of a. Bit of a. Bit of a pooper. Oh, sorry. I didn't even finish what I was saying. Yeah. Um. Josie mentioned uh, the phrase "toilet pilled" to describe how serious I was about where the toilet paper should live in a bathroom. And I found this turn of phrase so fucking hilarious that I think I'm going to make a video on being toilet pilled and the objectively correct way to use a toilet. Because y'all need to know. Y'all need to know how to use a fucking toilet. Um, cool. Alright. Um, exciting. True freedom. It's crazy. I can do anything. Um, I'll leave myself, I'll, I'll heave myself into chasms for that. Sure. Okay, I want my bike, so I'm spamming the X button to get my bike. Um, Beetle Detour, the ceremony. Cezo has a task for me. Oh, fuck it. Alright. Oh. That wasn't always over there. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Caesar is probably in this fucking tower. Camera is not helping me right now. Come on. Oh, there we go. Sure. Tell me about Beatles. Uh, better now I'm getting a bike. See, there's a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Yadi told me how excited you were. Cezo sniffs. She also told me Dries would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Dries for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike, hoverbike parts yourself. Uh, that sounds like an adventure. Alright, cool. So I'm scavenging. Ooh, a navigator. You'll find another... Okay, so the navigator is one piece of my hoverba hoverbike then, presumably. Um... Um, no, it's not part of the navigator, it's, um, it's not letting me move. Um, using your navig- okay. That's a really pretty noise. Okay, so what did it want me to mark? Presumably, like, that? Or that? Are we going to have a watch party for the new Hell of a Boss episode? Fuck it, sure. Um, am I planning to stream more often? Probably not. Probably not. I, I, for me to stream more often, I would have to be doing everything with regards to YouTube more often. Like, I, I, I want to stream more often to the same capacity that I'd like to be doing videos more often. And I'm super not doing videos often. Um, I've got a shit ton of ideas. I've got a small well of ideas that I can't wait to get started on. I'm just fucking awful at sitting down and doing shit. The main reason why I'm play like streaming right now is because I have two days to play this game before it's off Game Pass. It's gonna go off on Sunday. I'm not gonna even have the game finished, but I really just wanted to give it a go. Um, I think the art aesthetic, aesthetic is gorgeous so far. I actually... Despite my inability to sit there and read it, I think the dialogue is pretty and 
flirtatiously poetic. Um, like I, I just love the that the way of speaking is halfway between completely understandable and modern, and just a little bit whimsical. Um, right, I want that. Find a control panel. Oh, I don't get, I don't get a navigation for those. I just have to go out into the world and find them. Uh, Howden, um, we sometimes do do watch parties on on my Discord. If you wanted to join us, just hop in there. If a, if a, the thing is, they just drop episodes without warning. Sometimes they probably will tweet out like a the episode's going to be today um, before we get our next episode. So. We'll have some pre-warning. Check the description. The Discord link is there. You can join us for a hell of a boss watch party. What we typically do, <laughs> and I love this, it's hella autistic. What we typically do is have like one viewing where everybody is muted. And then we go back and rewind to all of our highlights and then have loud hooting and hollering over our favorite bits. And sometimes just watch it an entire second time. But then the second time we can chat as much shit as we want over the top of the, the, the showing. Um, which I think is a fun way to get longevity of out of what will probably be maybe 17 minutes of content knowing how a hell of a boss works. Um... We do a lot of screenshot taking. We like to find the absolute horniest moments of the, the demons and uh, get them captured in, uh, in, in ching ching 4K. Um, it's good stuff. Josie, you are right. Streams do take remarkably less thought. Um, but they do... I feel like streams have their own stressful element to them where you always have to be on. If I was editing a video right now, I would be wearing less clothes and, like... Fat. I might just have my dick in my. <laughs> no, um, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't quite be doing that if I was editing. But the thing is, like, I don't know. I already feel like I'm getting close to the point of sweating, um, and streams like you can only contain so much alive juice while you're doing it. And, and video ed editing can often be a much more segmented and and personalized process. I wish I could do other shit while I was editing. I mean, you could stream with only a shirt on. Who is to know? Damn, you're right. Let's take off these pants. Let's adjust this ball sack. Let's, let's spread these X cheeks. Oh, you know, I feel, I feel so much better. <laughs> I feel amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I feel I feel breezy. I feel reborn. Ooh. Fucking hell. Let's, uh, let's show that comment. Oh, you know what? I need a I need some I need to buy some pretty vests. I have a I'm I'm a I'm a fat little boy, which is to say I'm a fat huge grown ass man. So normally when I wear vests I get like the 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 armpit fat spill, which is a little less than uh makes me a little less enthusiastic to actually wear vests, but fuck. They're comfy. They're comfy. I like having vests because on the few occasions that I have um like pretty company round They'll often wear my clothes, and if I can get pretty company in a vest, that's very entertaining. Oh, kill me. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm entirely distracted. Where am I going? Uh, let's do this beetle quest. Alright. Do you mean waistcoats or actual vests? No, I mean vests. I mean vests. I mean sleeveless t-shirts. What did I say? I got this haircut recently. Oh, yeah. It's not very well combed. I didn't grease it today. I got this haircut recently. And uh, my friends told me that I looked like a double a XL low tier god. Which I'm super okay with. 
low tier god, while he is a complete penis man, he's not an unattractive man. He takes care of himself. I kind of like uh, being the the I don't know. <laughs> is the opposite of low tier god high tier atheist? I could be the high tier atheist. That makes me feel like a really disgusting redditor, though. I feel like high tier atheist is a really redditor kind of name. I've been quoting that one load. Okay. <laughs> you should. Are there? So I'm looking for fucking beetles. Um, and for the life of me, I must be close. Okay, the, the, the indicator's turn in, so it probably means that I need to get up there, if I even can. Thus far, I fucking can't. But I can probably get up there. Okay. Alright. The epic awesome atheist. Okay. Try looking on Abbey Road. For what? Oh, there's beetles. We found ourselves some beetles. Come, 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 come true. What the f- Do I have to sneak up on beetles? I guess they did give me a crouch function. I guess I should have considered the fact that I can in fact sneak. And they can just see me. Is there a- You know what? While I was busy skipping through dialogue, I bet they told me how I can avoid being seen by beetles. <sighs> okay. Um Okay. Has anyone played Sable? Does anyone want to tell me? Does anyone want to tell me how to uh how to how to get beetles? Um, let's see what the journal says. I asked at camp and learned that there's a beetle's nest in the camp. Beetles are too afraid I'll catch one. I'll have to distract it with food. While asking around the camp, I learned that Sima has hidden an atomic calibrator. I could just go and take it from her. Okay. Um, do I have anything that resembles food? Mm, I guess not. Okay, so I came all this way. It was my own fault, really. I, I, um... Is there no food in the environment? Like, surely they eat something naturally occurring in the environment. But does food not live here? Is that food? That could be food. Oh, let's go food! Okay. Um, this better be food. Be distracted. And now... We gaming. We, see that? I got... Oh, you can't see that. It's an overlay. But I just got 10 gamer score. Okay. Um, there you are. Any more for any more. I think I only needed three, but for overkill, let's just uh, make sure we got enough. Like this little football fruit. I 
I thought that might be the maximum number of available. <laughs> Beetle detected. What? Okay. I feel like that's a sufficient number of beetles. Um, so let. Oh, there was an easy way up here this whole time, and I went. Fuck it, I found it. No regrets. Um, let's see if we can get back to our strider. Oh, I came in through the stupid video game donkey way. Um, let's see if I can even make it back. I fucking... Okay, we're, we're good, we're good. Josie, out of curiosity, any games that you, uh, you'd, uh, you'd, uh, you'd maybe want me to stream? Since you were curious about me streaming more often. I want to open that question up to uh, to everybody, but I am also going to be honest. Somebody's opinion here does matter to me way more than everybody else. Check the journal. It doesn't give us any clues. It's just go and find it. Fuck it. We'll do the beetle quest. Give the beetle back to Saima. Um, she likes to play in the cave underneath the camp. Okay. We're looking for a cave underneath the camp. Silk Song when it comes out. Yeah. I do want to play Silk Song for definite. Stream Delta Rune. I think I remember that. Y yeah. You're right. I haven't played the fucking. I haven't played Chapter 2 fully yet. Um, unless, unless you mean any specific Game Pass game. Um, I just mean any game at all. Any game at all, Josie. Uh, you should play Slime Rancher, though. Okay. Mm Not against it. It looks cute. It makes blobby noises. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I have an atomic calibrator and a power supply and I need to find a control panel. The only clue that I think I have about that is that that lady made us look into the distance and mark waypoints when she was talking about ship parts. So we're going to surreptitiously move in the direction of the waypoints and see if anything makes itself clear to us. And if we can't find anything there, then we will just fucking suffer, I guess. What up, Johnny Onslow? To what do we owe the pleasure? Hey, Super Shadow! You playing Killing Floor 2? I feel like Killing Floor 2 is what I play when I want to play Call of Duty Zombies, but feel like, um, getting the Walmart version. Killing Floor 2 feels like Walmart Call of Duty Zombies. Oh, okay, no. Broken ship? Makes perfect sense. We'll probably find a piece there. Is this where we already were, though? I remember seeing wires draping down like that. Oh, no, we've already been here. Okay, we've already been here. We've, I think we've already been here. Um, which is why we already have one of the ship parts. I love puddle slimes. They are so based. I'm gonna have to Google puddle slimes. I feel like the great variety of slimes in video games makes way for a very good BuzzFeed quiz. Like for real, for real, I think I am uh, I am the heel slime from Dragon Quest. I know some of y'all will be slime riders, metal slimes, fucking choo choos. Oh my god, choo choos from Zelda are great fucking slime. Huge fan of me and my homies love choo choos. There was a video idea that I wanted to do ages ago to collaborate with a bunch of other smaller creators where I was going to do a video called, like, Best Worst Video Game Enemy. And so I got Large Lad Charles to record a little bit talking about Murlocs and World of Warcraft. I was going to have somebody talk about slimes in Dragon Quest. We're going to have somebody talk about 
like Goombas in Mario. Basically, I wanted a video compiling uh, people's favorite weakest enemies in all of gaming and each creator would make their argument for why their weakest enemy is objectively the best weakest enemy. Which I still think is a stellar uh, video idea. The only issue is trying to organize five or six people to do one thing is very, very difficult. And when I asked five or six people, what I got was one person. Wiggler. Big. Big. I'm trying to figure out who was on the list because there was a lot of a. Uh... Oh, this is the altar. We've been here. Um. Okay, so what we're looking for is a decimated, desolated ship. That one we've already been to, so we've already got the lost part from there. So what we need now instead is... Um, well, we've just got to look for another one, I guess. Find a fucking control panel. You can you can go away. You can uh, you can go away. Um, blue one, blue one. Blue one over there. You. I can't even reach it. Never mind. Fuck it. So we're going to roam the environment until we can find a fucking broken down ship. Because we're looking for a control panel. We've already been to that broken down ship there. So we've got to look around for a different one. What we'll do is, because we're probably going to have to hit the village on the way back, we'll check if the village has any, um, any leads on some broken down ships. Or if it's actually... Because to be fair, I'm assuming it'll be a broken down ship, but it could just be a, a reward item for a smaller quest. Or something like that. Although I, I'm seeing some, uh, seeing, some, uh, seeing some in the distance over there. That might just be the beetle nest again, though, to be honest. I'm not seeing any other... Oh, fuck. Any other broken down ships. I like the video idea. However, you could extend the idea to the best weakest enemy and the worst strongest enemy. That's half decently interesting. I'm not against that idea. I'm not going to make my way up here. We... We... We, we dip him. It looked like there was something important up there, but it might have just been a butterfly. It might have just been a... Ooh! Shit pieces? Shit pieces? Shit pieces? Shit pieces... These feel like shit pieces. Crucially though, are any of them my pieces? Extend the idea would make it harder to produce, but in which case I'd probably just turn it into two videos. No. Fuck it. I feel like there is a weakest enemy in Hollow Knight, but it's the least interesting thing to talk about. Which would be just the normal husk enemies in, like, the very first area. Um, if I was to, like, put a shitty Hollow Knight enemy on a list of shitty Hollow Knight enemies, it'd probably be the Primal Aspids. Or the, oh no, no, it would be the, the Suicide Bombers. The little Vigor Flyers. Very problematic. Okay, so this is already the beetle den, so I've already been here. But this does look like a broken down ship. And I didn't look very hard, so 
What I'm doing is just scouting to see if there's anything obvious that looks like a MacGuffin. Which I don't think there is, so fuck it. We're going to get to a, a higher vantage point and see what we can see. Uh, fucking... Not a whole lot. Not a, not a, not a whole lot. What are you? It's just a decoration. It's just a plant. Okay. Oh, there's a wiggler over there. I'm going to continue to call them wigglers, even though they're called chum. Oh yeah, by the way, finally started playing Nier Automata after you recommended it ages ago. I'm going to do it all this time instead of only playing the opening act. Yeah, the game really opens up a lot more on its third act. The second act, unfortunately, is more of the same, just with a couple of gameplay differences. The third act is where the story, like, di diverts in a big and interesting way, and... Um, I don't think Nier Automata is a perfect game. I think visually it's gorgeous. I think the amount of polygons they physically put on one ass is astounding. Really, really... Really good work from that from that crazy Japanese man. Um, yeah, looking at it retrospectively, I can see room for improvement in like Nier's pacing. I think it loses a lot of its player base by having a having a, a quest structure that the structure of the quests is linear. The delivery of the quests is not. So often making progress feels like a a sludgy slog. Um, I, like I still think Nier's pretty special. I think it's a it's a very uh, it's lovely. Um, I just couldn't. I don't know if I could imagine giving it a proper replay. Any broken down ships visible from this vantage point? What are you? You will be checked and. I guess that's clearly a, a point of interest. And that is just a rock, but in, in distant colours. Okay. You can get fucked. You're coming with me. Okay. Oh my god, come on. Now to figure out if I've already been here or not. No, it doesn't feel like I've been here. Whoop, oh, wrong button. Shit, good shit. Um, that's a big fucking gap, and I don't know if I can just. You know what? I can just do this. This is fine. Okay. I feel like it's very odd to see remnants of what I presume to be wooden ships here. I, I can't tell if these are actually made out of wood, but if they are made out of wood, 
there are no trees anywhere around here to supply that wood, nor is there any water for the ships to presumably be in, so I like the lore implications that this could have been a very, very different place. Maybe a century or two ago. Right. Give us a fucking control panel. Oh my god. You know what I just got? You know what I, you know what I just found? It's like I it's like I asked for it and they were like, yeah, shouldn't have it. <laughs> I did the thing. I found the thing. It wasn't on an abandoned ship, unless this is just a crash landed ship in retrospect. Th looking at this, this might just be a fucking crash landed ship. Yeah, I think that's what we found. Okay, well, problem solved. We can go get our strider done. And I could go for the old strider, or I could explore this new fucking hill over here. And it's kind of calling to me. Stop it. I feel like this game needs a recall strider button, because I feel like I'm about to travel very far away from my shit strider, and it's going to be a pain to, to travel back, but also I really want to see what's here. Ooh. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Ooh, uh. Okay. I'm at least being rewarded with collectibles. Seems appropriate. Oh, and a fucking altar? A grave? If it's a grave, I just stole money from it. Fuck it. I love how scratchy those stars are. They're just big fucking... Paintbrush, paintbrush, paintbrush splatters instead of actual dots. <laughs> it sounds like I'm criticizing it, but I think it's a really unique style. It's pretty. There's a very particular artist that a lot of this game's art direction is based off of, where they do a lot of this very thin line work and very, very crowded. Not, not necessarily crowded, but just extremely large, like content heavy. Scapes. Do a lot of visual scapes. Okay, right. Lads and ladies. Before I shut the stream off, I think it's uh, prudent that we go and get ourselves our own, our very own Strider. But there's something pretty in blue in the distance there, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's the, it's the, the gate that I ran through, that'll just be the gate that they made me stride through a while ago. Okay, Cizo I believe is at the top of the tower. Let's do ourselves a little quime. Guys, who is going to be watching the Minecraft live presentation tomorrow? Uh, fun fact about me, I fucking love Minecraft and I'm actually well excited and me and my friends are going to be doing a viewing. And even though Minecraft are kings are over-promising and under-delivering, and what they're going to do is just give us content that they said they were going to do in a previous update and fucking shelved and then brought back for now. Even though we're not going to get anything revolutionary, I'm still absolutely here for new Minecraft content. Fucking love it. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Okay. 
Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that only one... <sighs> Christ, I'm tired. <laughs> Fell out of Minecraft for ages. Had trouble. Squishy, if you need a way back in, you can just join m m mine and my friend's Minecraft realm. You're welcome. Play with play with the dude bros. So what did they ask me to do? Assemble the machine. Oh, come on. With that, oh, do we get to choose colors? See, front booster wings. It's so gray, though. It's so brown beige. Can I, can I ride it though? I still can't ride it. <sighs> okay. Oh wait, no, there's a ceremony. Okay, that's cute, that's fine. I'm comfortable with that. Oh my god, let me on. Okay, last person before before the stream comes to an end. Let's do the ceremony. Oh, I went too far. Let's do the ceremony. Sable, the cartographer landed his balloon while you were away. You should go speak to him if you can't get a map. Okay, cool. Thank you for the money. And about, come speak to, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's do this, like, I should have expected a bit of a fetch quest simulator. We are playing fucking a walking sim. This is what I signed up for, but I guess I just really want my strider. Oh, I love this guy. What a dork. I'd love a map. Okay. So, they gave me a map. Um, which... I see. I see I have a map now. Wow, this world's bigger than I expected. Holy shit. Okay, we have a map. We have waypoints. This is this is cool. This is cool. Now, crucially, give me my strider. All right. Um, on. Only at your final ceremony, but okay. How will I choose one? You have to figure that out. Ooh. Okay, so new clothes. Okay. I'm a glider now. I'm, I'm on my gliding pilgrimage. Um, but I've got to head to the temple. <laughs> the 
This feels like the hovercraft in the original Jack and Dexter. Legend of Zelda Puzzle Room. And when I say puzzle room, I mean we take an elevator and we'll probably be where we need to be. Um, so let's take an elevator. You know what? I don't think the elevator's coming down. I think I spoke too soon. I think we've got to scale our way there. I see you. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, if they made a Zelda game in this visual style, it would it would fuck. It would fuck hard. I feel like I've seen a movie with an art style like this, but I can't remember anything about it. It says Killian. Ooh, I get my mask. I get a mask. That mask just popped into view, right? That was weird. Cute, cute. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all dolled up. And I'm going the wrong way to get out. Okay. I thought I came through looking at the sky. I guess not. What did I just do? Can I leave? Okay, don't know what that is. Probably not my business. Why can't I see... Oh, that's the way out. Okay. Correct 
correct my posture because I'm fucking dying over here. Oh my god, my back. That feels insane. Jesus Christ, that body is insane. Okay, the world looks far more colourful now all of a sudden. I got new eyes. I can't climb that though, that's fine. And judging by my compass map, I think they've they've rid me of my Dune Strider. I gotta I gotta get back on foot. Or by bubble. Oh, that was the quote. It's that, that body of yours is absurd. Do you ever feel that way? Do you ever look at people and be like, how? How did you, how did you manage that? Where'd you get those from? Is everybody gone? Was I gone way longer than I remember? We will have gone. The gliding is a journey that you must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepily into her arms and stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you yourself, but though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These are things that you will always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to I know and I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utar Utari. They are the machinist at Burnt Oak Station and among Cizo's closest friends. Utari's a good contact to have on one's gliding and a fine way to get to another uh, to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Ewer, so keep an eye out on post boxes and try not to forget us. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Now, give me my strider. Okay, I've got my own strider. It leaves these pretty trails behind that I didn't get from my previous bunt up crust bike. It's pretty. Can I do wheelies? I can't do wheelies. There aren't wheels to wheelie on in retrospect. That was a wishful thought, but it's pretty. And the world is more colourful now. I'm alone on my journey. I am Sable. Holy smokes. Alright guys. Here in the UK it is just hitting midnight. And I'm tired as fuck. I played this much of so- oh.
Well. With that. That was kind of fucking lovely. Um, yeah, fuck, guys. With that, we can... I guess we can say goodnight. <laughs> that was... That was pretty. I like that. This is Sable. A video game that I won't be able to play in two days unless I buy it with money. Because it's coming off Game Pass this Sunday. Which is tomorrow. Um, so I could I could try and grind through all of it tomorrow if I fancy, but in truth, I won't fancy doing that. I fancy sitting around and eating food, talking to friends on Discord and doing anything else with my weekend. Um, but yeah, for the people who turned up, thank you for watching the first hour and a half of Sable. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.